Hey guys, what's up? I'm Zephyr Sonic, and well, you guys have asked for it, and now you guys shall receive. Um, and of course, I got 100 likes in my Pokemon Stadium 2, uh, the first part, and so yeah, so as I promised, I'm going to be showing you guys how to import your own team onto your Pokemon Stadium 1 or Stadium 2. Of course, if you have your own Nintendo 64, you will need a transfer pack, which basically that's all there is to it. Your transfer pack, plug it into the controller on the back of it, and put your game cartridge in there. My advanced system care stuff. Um, but anyways, so yeah, so basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to need this controller plug-in. Uh, now this is the version 2.22 of Enrage's uh, input plug-in. Uh, there's people that are ones that are using 1.83 or 1.83a, whatever. Well, I just recommend you go with the latest update, which is version 2.22, and so that's what we're gonna use. Um, I will provide this plugin link to download in the description. All you gotta do is send it to your plugin directory, and uh, I would recommend you go with Project 64 1.6. Uh, so yeah. Um, I won't tell you where to download that though, but I will tell you that just type in the Google search Project 64 and it should be the first one that pops up as to where you can go and download it. Um, and let's see. So yeah, so basically what you're going to want to do is first of all open Project 64 of course. Since basically Project 64 is only one of a couple of emulators that are still... <clears throat> that are still out there right now uh, so yeah so thankfully the good people at project that made project 64 made this awesome emulator for those of for those of you guys that complain that maybe it's a little bit slow or something well it's usually your computer's fault because your computer is not fast enough you need an adequate computer to run at normal speed on an emulator it's the same with other ones like PlayStation 2 emulators, things like that. You need to have an adequate computer that can handle all the graphics coming into it. Even if it doesn't seem like it's not graphical, well, depending on the graphic details, yeah, it can take a lot out of your computer and you need a very, very good computer capable of doing that. Well, with PS2 emulators, you're probably going to need one of them iCores or something in order to run at normal speed. But uh, that's not what we're going about here. Uh, it's about importing your own team in Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. And so, what you're going to need to do is go to Settings in your Project 64 emulator. And of course, in Rage's input plugin 2.2.2. And so basically what you're going to do is Controller Plugin. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to show you guys on None. Just to give you guys a good uh, feel for this. Open up Pokemon Stadium first. So, as we open, okay, the game pack can't be used. That's for my crystal uh, thing, which of course... There was no second gen in Pokemon Stadium 1, so yeah, that's a normal message. Um, but yeah, but you'll see that, uh, yeah, the one I just hit on Stadium 1, no pack, so, yeah, okay, so it's all good. Alright, so, end emulation. And it, it, this is pretty much basically what you're gonna do. Alright, controller plug-in. And controller pack. Make sure the raw data is checked. And basically what you're going to do is, let me backspace these out. Alright, so the first one is the GB ROM file. Now, for those of you guys that know what ROMs are, you want to point to the ROM that is in there. So in this case it would be Pokemon Yellow. So point to that ROM, Pokemon Yellow, dot GB. Alright, so we've got that taken care of. Now we need to point to the ROM save that is generated, which would be this one right here, dot save. And if you don't, uh, and if you want to know how it generates the save, it's if you save the game physically, like not through the emulator itself, like I'll show you in a minute. But uh, save. Alright, let's open up Pokemon Stadium 1 again. And this is for the first controller, so... 
course, you can use a PlayStation controller on here. You just have to set it up. All right, so press start, and there you go. See, uh, my first one is loaded. First player. Let's go to the free battle real quick, uh, just to show you guys. Alright, so see, there's, there's my team all loaded, loaded up, and so I just end emulation, and, uh, so yeah, so going back to the save thing, uh, well, I'll do this for Crystal, okay, so, now if you open up Pokemon Stadium 2, Up way actually in emulation. Hang on. Okay, let me try that again. <laughs> All right, so basically what you're gonna want to do: uh, configure controller plugin. Let me. I knew this crystal thing right quick. Alright, so basically what you're going to want to do, now if we open up uh, Project 64, open up Stadium 2, And of course, you do need an adequate computer to run Project 64. If your computer is an old computer, chances are likely that it will not run this that well. Uh, because yeah, so anyways. So as we open it up, yellow will be there. And so nothing with the second one. But what we're going to do is end emulation. Now we're going to go... Okay, you see where it says... The GBC, that's your ROM file for Crystal, and then .sav, which is, or save, which is for the, uh, the Pokemon Crystal thing. So, let's go ahead and boot up the Visual Boy Advance. Um, let's see, recent. Of course, I do use emulation on game, uh, consoles like the Nintendo 64 and stuff because of the quality purposes because <clears throat> I like to have high def quality in my videos. Alright, so basically here... Now, I'm just going to delete the save file just so I can show you... Well, it's open just to show you guys <clears throat> how it generates it. You can do, of course, save it as a save state and stuff like that, but this is how you would do it. And this is the same way with yellow, red, and blue as well, and gold and silver. Just go to save like and you would internally saving the game originally and so it's gonna save <clears throat> alright so we saved the game and now what we're gonna do is go to file okay actually no uh, you'll see there it is there's the save file that has been generated for us so controller plugin controller pack uh, wait that's for one Okay, controller pack, and you see, you can do it like, see, like I'm using the PlayStation, PlayStation controller up, left, actually the DualShock 3, which is for the PlayStation 3, down, so yeah, basically I can use all that stuff, uh, but anyways, we're gonna go into the uh, controller pack, transfer pack, now we just have to point to Pokemon Crystal ROM, and then the Pokemon Crystal save, Save changes. Reopen Pokemon Stadium 2. And so once we get in here, there you go, your crystal save will be loaded and you will be able to choose your Pokemon from the game pack. So yeah, I mean that's basically uh, all you gotta do.
So yeah, so see, there you go, yellow. And then the same thing applies to crystal. So, um, I hope this, uh, helped you guys in, uh, helping you to import your own team into, uh, Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. And I will again leave that Enrage 2.2.2 plugin link in the description so you guys can download <clears throat> have the updated for updated the latest version on that plugin as well as uh, uh, let's see there's also some other plugins that I'll also uh, put in there as well that you guys should uh, overwrite on your project 64 1.6 and hope this uh, helped you guys so I guess that's uh, it for me and if you have any problems like data not found or something um just make sure you have the right one uh, imported and make sure it's region, the same region uh, one. Because, I mean, the ones from the U.S. will not work on the Japanese one, or the Japanese ones will work on the English, etc. So, yeah, just make sure, beware of that. Plus, it's easier, because, I mean, if you're playing on the original Game Boy or Game Boy Advance, I mean, chances are your save could get deleted at any time. Here, it's a lot better, because you can always keep your saves backed up. And you don't have to worry about the cartridges expiring and stuff like that. I mean, you always got them on hand because Nintendo doesn't make those anymore. So, yeah, it shouldn't be your loss. But, uh, yeah, I hope this helped you guys. And stay tuned for more Pokemon Stadium 2. As next time, we're going to be taking on... Well, this is... Uh, I just loaded a new one here just to do it, but uh, we're going to be taking on Bugsy, because uh, I've already defeated Faulkner in the first episode. So yeah, we're going to take on Bugsy. Bugsy Mugsy. So until then, I'm Zephyr Sonic. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.